so my name is Joe Nielsen. I'm the director of winemaking at Ramsgate Winery. Um, and um, my title pretty much takes care of what I do. I direct uh, the winemaking for our, our brand, although very small. We have a pretty small team. Um, pretty, it's still a very hands-on uh, winemaking role. Um, I also manage our vineyard relationships, our estate vineyard, um, and several other hats at the winery. Great. Well, I'm so glad uh, you could join us today for uh, to sit down and talk, um, not only about Ramsgate, but a little bit about your journey in the in the wine business. So really, uh, really happy to do that. Let, why don't we start off with, um, you know, our listeners really like to hear about um, how you got started uh, in in the wine business. So we'll start out with that. Uh, and then we'd yep. love to learn a little bit more about about Rams, Ramsgate. Um, I know your um, interest in wine started uh, pretty early, right? You started uh, in, in college is when you um, started to show some interest in, in the wine business. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so I was uh, uh, an early entry into college, um, a September birthday that uh, now they don't let kids go to, to uh, kindergarten until they're six. But uh, anyway, so I started college at 17, uh, thought I had everything figured out, uh, like every 17 year old, um, was enrolled at Michigan State University in pre-med. Um, and thought for sure that's the route I wanted to go. Um, and um, by about my 18th birthday, uh, it might've been a little after that, my friend uh, had kind of thrown out a great idea that I should actually pursue something crazy like winemaking instead of becoming a doctor. Um, and I thought that was the craziest thing someone has said to me, especially growing up in the middle of Michigan where um, that's not a thing. And that's- So did that uh, just come out of the blue? Did he just pull yeah, it out of thin yeah. air? Or where did, where, did that, where did that recommendation come from? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I think he was uh, a person that loved to uh, pull things to, from thin air, but um, not that I'm a huge believer in fate, but for whatever reason, he uh, said something like that and uh, got me thinking. Um, and, you know, this is, I think, early on when we were just starting to use Google to Google random things like that. And, uh, um, you know, looked into it, found that it was kind of interesting. Uh, somehow there was some immediate connection for me. Um, and so uh, did a little bit more research and found out that Michigan State uh, University had a an algae viticulture program that they were just starting up and um, had applied um, at 18. And then they immediately said, well, actually this is more designed for people that are 21 and over, over uh, given that there's some alcohol involved. Um, and so I kind of uh, reverse engineered that process, convinced them that I was going to behave, um, but, uh, Early on in my life, people often accused me of being impetuous, um, which I've used as a, a tool to get for give me where I am today. Um, so what does that look like? How did how did you convince them at, at 18? Um, I know if you walked into a bar today and said, hey, I'm 18, pour me a glass of wine, I'll be 21 soon. How did you tell me a little bit about how you um, convinced yeah. them to, to uh, take you on? Yeah, so there was, um, uh, well, so basically after I found out that this was a, a program and um, kind of convinced myself that I wanted to do this, um, I talked to my mother who uh, still lives at this home, but um, we had 20 acres of property and I said, can I have like half an acre to an acre I'm going to plant a vineyard. Um, and if they're not going to let me in, I at least want to know that I've tried and kind of find out for myself whether or not this is something that I want to do. 